All right, so in this video, we are finally gonna be taking down the newest infinite Dragon Ball history stage, which is stage 21 versus extraordinary super warriors. As you can see, we have a uh, wicked bloodline team here featuring the new LR middle cooler as the leaders, along with the LR final form cooler, LR full power Frieza, tech Frieza, STR, uh, TUR cooler, who is about to get an Extreme Z Awakening. I can't wait. And also the newly Extreme Z Awakened AGL Metal Cooler. The items are a Whis as well as a Princess Snake. And uh, yeah, without further ado, let's jump right in here and get this run started. Now, I'm just coming off finishing the uh, two new stages of that Fighting Spear of the Saiyans and Pride of the Wicked Bloodline event, I think it was. And um, that one definitely took me by surprise, for sure. I mean, I went in there super confident. I was like, yo, this video is going to be, you know, 10, 15 minutes at most. I'm going to breeze through both these stages and it's going to be super, super chill, right? No, that was not quite the case. <laughs> that was not quite the case, guys. If you haven't done the Metal Cooler Army stage and also the Super Saiyan Goku and Vegeta stages, um, be prepared, be prepared, because they are not as easy as you would expect. You know, they're not like super, super hard. They're not nearly as hard as like uh, some of the later Red Zone stages, especially uh, the new Cell Max event, you know, nothing like that. But just based on my expectation, you know, coming off the first two stages, which were really chill, I thought stage three and four would be kind of the same thing and it was not the same thing <laughs> I gotta tell you it was it was not the same thing man it was actually quite challenging um, especially the length of the metal cooler stage was was very surprising because you know the first two stages only took five minutes each or something like that and stage three because there were so many fights, because there were so many metal coolers, which I guess makes sense because like, you know, they, there, there were like a million metal coolers in the movie, right? So it was kind of canon, or at least it was kind of accurate to the movie, but <laughs> it took me like 20 plus minutes to beat that stage. And uh, then the Goku and Medita stage was much shorter, but those guys hit hard as balls, man. So yeah, I'm sure a lot of you guys have already done those stages or at least attempted them. But in case you haven't, I just want to warn you that it's no joke, man. Those, those stages are no joke. So with that said, uh, I'm really expecting this one to be a lot more chill. I think uh, we'll be able to breeze through this one with relative ease. But once again, you know, um, the game has surprised me in recent memory, so maybe it will get challenging but so far it's about what i've been expecting from infinite dragon ball history stages which is you know not too bad not too bad okay so we're against the base goku here that goku looks familiar what's it from like this this uh base goku art it looks very familiar is it from the oh it's the free to play it's the new free to play goku and gohan right so yeah that's why all right so on this rotation, I think I'm going to keep the AGL Metal Cooler and the Full Power Frieza together. We'll probably run this as one rotation, and then the other rotation obviously will be the uh, two new LR coolers. And I do love the fact that the Part 1 coolers, or sorry, the uh, Part 1 and 2 coolers, and also the Part 1 and 2, you know, Super Saiyan Goku slash Super Saiyan Goku and Vegeta, you know, link really well with each other, so they make amazing rotations. So if you were lucky enough to pull all four LRs, then you can run them together on like rotations, right? And it's very, very good. <laughs> They're very, very good rotations. Um, of course, if you guys didn't pull them, then that's, that's my bad. I'm not trying to flex or anything. I'm just saying like I'm having a lot of fun with these uh, these these Worldwide Celebration LRs. Um, the newer ones, like the Part 2 LRs, I don't think are as good, honestly, as the Part 1 LRs. But they're still very, very good. Don't get me wrong. They're still really, you know, powerful in a lot of ways, like damage-wise or defensively or, you know, with the healing. Like, Cooler is very unique. Metal Cooler is very unique in the sense that 
his healing is nothing like... I don't think any unit we've seen in the game before. You know, like, there are good healers out there, but I think with the combination of, like, how much damage he can do, and also getting some good defense, and having their rival skill, like, no other unit has all that and also the healing, you know what I mean? So, it's a really cool unit. You know, I wouldn't call him the best unit in the game, but I hope they continue going in this direction where they start, you know, continue releasing these, like, more unique, uh, you know, go Confess units or summonable LRs that are, you know, also serving the role of, like, one of those support units or, or utility units, you know what I mean? So, either way, it's really cool. I like the cooler a lot. His damage definitely is good enough for what he does. I do wish his defense was a bit higher. I wish he was able to get more defense. But I think that, you know, the crazy healing and also the revival skill just always being there, always being available. At least, you know, before you use it, right? But once you use it, it's gone. But anyways, the fact that you can always rely on that is uh, pretty cool as well. So... Yeah, I, I'm a big fan of both the units, uh, the Super Saiyan Goku and Vegeta, you know, do great damage, get some good tanking or get some good defense with the damage reduction as well, so um, as a whole, I think they're great. I would say part 2 LRs, or sorry, part 1 LRs, a little bit better, right? A little bit better, but they're all good overall. They're all very, very good. Uh, I'm not gonna pop the active skill for the metal cooler yet. I'm gonna save that for a bit later in the run Although I'm not really sure how many more fights we have So I don't know. We'll use it at some point We'll definitely use it at some point but I Might I might end up wasting it just in case like I don't know I'm on the last fight, but I'm pretty sure There's at least two more fights after this I'm pretty sure there are Let's see so we have Piccolo. Is Piccolo the last boss? Yeah, I think Piccolo might be the final boss. Okay. Well, if it is, then that's fine. Uh, we should be quite tanky enough with the two AGL coolers. Sorry, the <laughs> Frieza and the cooler. And then Final Form cooler. Doesn't have an Extreme Z Awakening yet. So, I would be concerned about his defense, but, but there's no attacks there, so... We're fine as well for him. Um, as I said in my the jump leak video earlier today, I hope they make him a good slot uh, one unit because he pairs so well with the LR Final Form Cooler. And if he became a good slot one unit, then oh no, there's more. There's more. Okay, this is the last phase. Okay, so yeah, if he became a good slot one unit, then he would be the perfect uh, partner for the uh, LR Final Form Cooler, right? Because right now he's a good partner, but he's not perfect because both of these units, both the LR Final Form Cooler and the TUR Cooler are not good in slot one. So if we were able to feel safe about having the TUR Cooler in slot one with like some damage reduction or a little bit of stacking on a super attack for defense, then that would be really ideal, you know? So, uh... Yeah, that's my hope. We'll see how it goes. We'll see uh, what his details look like. And this is going to do it, guys. I mean, this was what I was expecting from the Metal Coolers and the Super Saiyan Goku and Vegeta. Um, instead, we got <laughs> we got a lot more than I was expecting. But this in, in, in this stage, it was, you know, exactly what I thought it was, which is very, very chill. Um, yeah. Yeah, I know. This is about what I thought this stage would be. And it was, what, less than 10 minutes? Unless there's more. There, there might be one more. Let me see. Oh, that's it. Okay, so we cleared it in less than 10 minutes. <laughs> and uh, that's it, guys. That is the last event I needed to do for part two. We're getting more stuff, obviously, for part three. Like the uh, Extreme Z Awakening for the STR Cooler. The Extreme Z Awakenings for all five of the type specific coolers and there might be some other stuff that i'm forgetting but for now i'm good to go i finally finished everything it took me a while but we got it done and uh, that's gonna do it for today's video guys i will see you in the next video thank you so much for watching why is my game frozen i don't know there we go 
Have you guys noticed the game has been like a little bit, a little bit off recently, you know, like sometimes it just freezes or it's like some random lag out of nowhere, uh, which I didn't notice previously. Feels like a more recent problem. I don't know. Anyways, that's it guys. Thank you so much for watching. As always, if you liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. Sub to the channel if you're new, hit that notification bell so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And until next time, have an awesome, awesome day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.